and he would reject a lot of the suggestions that I had said. But because I didn't react to him in a way that caused more angst between us, I stayed calm. I was in a position there where I had control. Be manly and the legends of humanity. Welcome to the fellowship of honorable men and women role models for boys and men because you have the power to be a man in all its glory. Damien Andrews here for Be Manly and the Legends of Humanity. One of the things I want to talk to you about today was the power of staying calm. Now, I've had a lot of experiences where uh, you know, someone tries to stir you up, which is really part of that reason people do stir you up is to get a reaction, certainly in a negotiation situation, if you can um, get someone to to react, to be out of control, it gives you more control. So just wanted to highlight the power that you can have if you actually stay in control of your emotions and stay calm. An experience I had, I um, was working, one of my clients was in construction and I would go there and I'd always wear a suit and I like to wear um, we wore braces, the 80s style braces with my suit all the time. Uh, it was just something that I like to do. And then um, well, there was an older guy there, he was the superintendent for the client. So it was a big build, it was a 22 story sky rise that we were building and um, government commercial office. Uh, and one of the times that we were there, the, the older guy, um, let's just call him Bob because that's his real name, and he we were talking and he grabbed hold of my braces here and, and flicked them. So he was standing in front of me and we were talking. And it was it was for a reaction. He was doing it for reaction. I noticed that and I just and normally you know, someone touches you, it's kind of not something that you you'd react or something you would react to. Well I decided that I wasn't going to react because I'd learnt the power of staying calm. So I didn't react, I just continued the conversation. And he kind of looked at me a little bit funny, but I just continued on. And then as we were talking, um, he then turned to me and goes, you know, I've always looked at you in your suit and the braces, and I think the braces are really cool, and I've always, I've admired that. I've never had the courage to, to wear that myself, but, um, I admire that you do, which I thought was really interesting when you look at that because here it was, he was trying to get a reaction from me, he's trying to stir me up to get me to get out of control and then I don't react, I don't do anything to um, provoke anything, I don't get offended, I just continue on with what we were talking about and then he's apologised to me saying, in a way, well he hasn't actually said I'm sorry, but he's, he's acknowledged and shared a connection, a deeper connection that we had and that actually went further in, in the relationship that we had there because this guy could be pretty difficult to deal with. Well, certainly when I first started on the project he was very difficult to deal with and he would reject a lot of the suggestions that I had said, but because I didn't react to him in a way that caused more angst between us, I stayed calm. I was in a position there where I had control and I could control the relationship that we had. And for me, that relationship was about creating an effective result for my client, which was really important. But also too, I wanted um, to foster a relationship with the people that I work with because one thing you learn in negotiation is that a negotiation isn't about the bottom deal and we teach that in my negotiation magic course. A lot of people think it's about the bottom deal, it's about getting the, that, that ultimate result. A negotiation is about creating the relationship, whichever way that is, because even if you have someone that rips you off, you still have a relationship. You don't deal with them anymore and that's your relationship. And that's where real power comes into it, is you have the ability to stay in charge. Um, also, real power comes from staying calm because you have the, that ability to stay in charge, 
control the relationship and you're not at the mercy of someone else who might be dictating what um, behaviors that you might react to. So this is where it's really, really helpful if you can, or when you can, is to learn to stay calm, take a breath. When someone does something that's to stir you up, be aware that it's they're doing that deliberately to stir you up, to get a result, to get a reaction. If you don't react, then they don't have control. You have the control to then steer the relationship to one that's more about, well, using your intelligence to start with, you're having the courage to stay in control, um, but also to, you've got a sensitivity to what's going on so that you can actually control that relationship. So stay calm. This is Damien Andrews for Be Manly and the Legends of Humanity. Before you go, you're invited to continue the Be Manly and the Legends of Humanity journey. Subscribe to our YouTube and become a patron where you can become a courageous crusader, a wise warrior, a daring dynamo, and even an ascending avenger. Here you'll find all the tools to become a man in all its glory. We're honored to walk side by side with you on this extraordinary adventure. Together, we're unleashing the full power of manhood, creating a better world for everyone.